Hey guys, it's Griffin. And to do me cat. And we're back after doing a whole lot of nothing the last episode. <laughs> we're in Viridian City, right where we were when we last ended this episode. You can't do a shit with that. I was hoping there was something on the ground. Shit mm -hmm. happens. Don't be rude. Did Wait. I catch a Pidgey? I don't know. You only have seven. I know that much. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Play you have with two them. bell sprout. Yep. I have a Pidgey. Oh, you have a Pidgey. I don't need a Pidgey. They say you do. Or that Pidgey. <laughs> Although I do like the little feature in this game. I don't know if you've seen it. Hey, Kakuna. I'll get you. But, uh, where if you have, like, a capture rate for a certain Pokemon, the more rare Pokemon pop up. Oh, yeah. Isn't that how, like, you kind of get shinies, too? It's how you get shinies. I don't like how Kakuna sits there and vibrates. <laughs> you don't like the vibration? Not Kakuna's at all. vibration. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he didn't like the vibration either. No, um, when I, on my playthrough, I was doing it. And by the way, catching pincer or, pincer or scyther is a pile of shit. Game's just a hate for <sighs> so I spent like six hours trying to get one to pop on the route that it's supposed to pop on. And it never did. Dragonites and Charizards galore. <laughs> but not a single fucking pincer. And that's something that we looked it up on Reddit. We managed to find somebody that was going to trade with us. And um, that was a pain in the ass to actually get to work too. But <sighs> we found someone to trade with us because I then tried for an hour or two to get somebody to pop up, to get a pincer to pop up, and they uh, didn't. Yeah, it wasn't just all. my luck, was it? Well, it was because you were in the room and you had been trying and it was your game save. Oh, yes, clearly. Like, it knew I was it in did. the room. It really did. It oh, does. my God. It, that's how it is with you. It really Always. does hate me. <laughs> like, I'll leave and take a shower. You do great. I come back, the game just blows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my presence. Hey, I want to show you something. Suddenly, I suck. Is that how you got so far in uh, Dark Souls? Yeah, and then I wanted to show you that I was decent at Dark Souls, and guess and what? you weren't. Yep. But I had been. You don't need to look at me accusatory. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's your fault. What's we all doing there? I think I hit a button. I don't know what button that was, but I hit it. <laughs> Did you kill him? Yes. I wish. Get her, Pee. Ooh. Pikachu, you better still be there, you little bitch. It's a very large Pikachu. Caterpie wanted to run away from me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you gotta actually try. Sorry, I'm a little limp-wristed this- today. It happens. <laughs> we'll be fine. But, so, we're still here. Maybe we'll get somewhere, I don't know. We'll at least catch things in the forest. I like, like being in the trees. Yeah. Pidgey grew to level 7. Spear grew to 5. And not Rick is just there. Not Rick is just being not Rick. Yeah. Not ricking it up. <laughs> Hello, you fat bastard. So, Squeenix decided that they were going to release that limited edition. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he really didn't want to go I in there. I caught him. I um, tried. Well, she, she says no. Squeenix decided to release the limited edition Finally. PlayStation 4 for Kingdom Hearts. Finally. It had been on Amazon, in case people want a little back to that. It had been on Amazon available for pre-order and everything, like, months ago. And then yeah, it was just gone. it was gone. just gone. It was announced, but then another article came out shortly thereafter. Saying we it was going to be a Japan-only release. And last Friday, actually. Nigel, that was in our Smash Brothers video. Go back and watch that. It's fun. And Moe's and Mo's. Smash video. Yeah. They did a solo duel, basically. Um, he actually had posted something on Facebook, um, about seeing that it was going to be a GameStop exclusive, and, uh, well, it was. I then looked online, and I saw it was available for pre-order, and then, like, an hour and a half later, when we were going to take a look at it again, it was no longer available online, and was said that it was going to be in-store only. Oh, it was the worst. I was so, so we upset. Were we were thinking that it was done. It was sold. We no. called. Yeah. Well, no, that I know. was my fault. I know, and it turns out and no. It, it turns out that it wasn't. So <sighs> we fucking the next day 
call and ask them, because we were both at work when we saw that it wasn't available online anymore. Which sucks. So we call GameStop the next morning, literally, like, minutes after they open, like, is this fucking available for us to fucking buy? And they're like, yeah, but it's like, first come, first serve, so they're gonna go quick. We fucking got in that car, oh, we and left. we fucking took a PlayStation, because we have two, because there's two of us, because we don't need three. Yep. And we took our extra Switch, because we got the Diablo Switch. Yay, even better. Look that up. It's gorgeous. Oh. And... Traded that in, and if we hadn't bought a couple Christmas gifts, we would have had five dollars that they would have owed us for a brand new system. I know. You know they wouldn't have given it to us. It would have been like, would have been like a dollar and a half. Yeah. Woo. But they could have put it on my um, pro card. This is true. They could they have. They could have. I didn't know that. That's a cool little thing too. It's a nice little feature. But I didn't pay for like the Super Express shipping. Because they had free shipping, which would be like, hey, like, around February 4th is when you'll get it. Even though the game comes out on the 30th. I yeah. got, like, day one shipping. So we'll get it, like... The day of. So... Around, the, like, the 29th to the 30th. So if... Oh, shit. So if anybody's interested, maybe we'll do an unboxing. It does look really cool. It looks really interesting. Fuck this Pidgey. Um... I have to look decent. Yeah, I never look decent. I'm a troll. But, uh... <laughs> But, uh, no, maybe we'll do that, kind of show it off, show it to everybody. It is a really cool-looking system. We'll have a PS4 Pro. We will. I always hold off. I don't really We're to... still repping the original PS4. We are. <laughs> but it's okay. Represent. It's still a good PlayStation. It is. Um, they've, they've left. I mean, it's days. still, the play PS4 Pro is still only a terabyte. Now, with the way they don't, like, compress game files anymore, oh, yeah. you need at least five. <laughs> if you're if you have a laundry list of games like I do on the PS4 alone, you're gonna want like an external hard drive. Wasn't it? Oh, I forgot the second game that they were talking about that it was. If you had something and Red Dead Redemption, Spider Man and Red Dead Redemption, you had to pick which one you wanted yeah, on the system right. because and, they're so big. And no offense, I never really got into Red Dead Redemption. There's nothing wrong with it. I just. It would be interesting Skyrim. to maybe have some fun playing with it with a channel. You had me try the zombies. Yeah, because and I we barrel were rolled stupid. off it. Because we were stupid and bought only zombies <laughs> instead of buying the <laughs> base game and zombies. And I had never played it before. And zombies, because it's DLC, expects that you know the fucking game. Well, I didn't. And I, I barrel rolled into a pack of zombies. I know. I lived, though. I did live. At the end of your experience, had you died yet? No. I got close. Got really I close. ran like a little bitch. And um, then the zombies broke. Yeah, the zombies The zombies just... broke. They had no heads, and they were not hostile. Yeah, they, they were the original kind of skins minus heads. I don't know if any of you have played Skyrim with mods, but think <laughs> of it like if you got like a mod skin, and it just broke. So there's no figure there, but the clothes are walking, and they're talking to you. Kind of talking to you, because they're supposed to be zombies. Oh, it was like human speech over the zombie, like, groan. And it was really, more honestly, more terrifying than the zombies themselves actually were. So, that was something. I really wish we had had that recorded. <laughs> like <laughs> Of the panic the entire time. It was, how long did you play, maybe, like... Uh, maybe half an hour. That? I think about half an hour. Yeah, probably between twenty. Once the thing half. broke, and I was like, "Hey, hey, hey I can capitalize on this." I did. Oh, but shit. then we also ran into the problem of once you got hostile towards the clothing floating around, they got hostile to you. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Did they? Yeah, they were fucking all over you. Yeah, but and they you weren't, couldn't see their heads. But they so weren't you attacking. Get... Yeah, they were. Were they? Yes, they were. Shit, bruh. Ah, oh, you aren't what I wanted. But it's tiny. Oh shit, I don't care. It can get its tiny ass away from me. You little bitch. Little bitch. I wanted. Aw, oh, Pikachu is still there, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the Metapod too. I did too, that's why I was like, oh no. So are you going to have a boy Pikachu in your party? Or a girl Pikachu in your party? I don't know. I, I don't personally like don't like Pikachu's tail when she's a girl. Yeah. I don't it's either. just wrong. I don't think Pikachu's should have. See, we also grew up watching edges. the anime too. So it's like, just even, as a design, it's just strange to me. Strange and odd and strange. Strange. I know. 
So I don't strange. like it. Should I teach double, double kick? kick? Bubble kick. At yeah. least for now, what? until you can get Might as well. Like, anything? No defense. <laughs> Only <laughs> attack. <laughs> I do not protect. No, I do protect. No, I protect no one. I just attack. Oh. Uh, I attack to protect. But the game... Was it the Game Awards that that uh, was all announced? I don't know what the what? hell it was. What? All of the, um, I was just thinking about, like, all of the new games that were announced. Ooh. I mean, Ooh. we all know Anthem We talked and about it like a little that. bit before, because we mentioned Hades. And we were going to wait did. to see how um, the Epic Games, um, yeah. like, storefront is, which I haven't heard anything bad. So we might have to take a look at Hades soon after. Maybe. I don't know if it's still free, though. Or if that was, like, a timed thing. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Definitely. But, uh, no, Hades looks good. They're f it's, that's from the creators of um, Transistor, and if you haven't played that... Bastion? Um, Bastion. Oh, I'm not playing Pokemon <laughs> Catch thing. I just flung the controller up into the air for no reason. Um, did the Supergiant make something else? Too? Pyre. Yes. We haven't played that yet, either. No. It looks colorful. It looks cute. And I expect it to work really well. And there's nothing wrong with Supergiant. I just have a ugh, I just have a horrible habit of picking up the game, getting far enough in it, and then putting it down and never playing it again. Kind of like The Witcher for me. I like The Witcher. I just I love it. I never beat it. You haven't even beat base game. I know. That's why I said I never beat it, bruh. Outer Worlds. Ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That trailer looks really good and really promising, and I'm not really... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not really up to, um, like, my knowledge of game studios and stuff, and Nikki Griffin here is the one that introduced me to a lot of games yes. besides, like, I knew Pokemon. I love Pokemon. The typical mainstream Diablo, stuff. Diablo, um... Minus Diablo. Bioshock I knew about before her. I had played it. Um, but I was, like, a very casual gamer. Like, I had loved Kingdom Hearts, but I had never beaten Kingdom Hearts. Um. Fixed that. We're good. <laughs> yes. We're good. Um, but, like, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I hadn't, and I had had Skyrim. I'd played new Skyrim. But I didn't know Bethesda's other stuff, or, well, Obsidian's other stuff. I didn't know that Obsidian was the original creator of Fallout. Well, they make sure that they tell you that in their trailer for Outer Wilds. Yeah. After the first, that. like, two minutes, they're, like, from the original creators of Fallout. And in that first two minutes, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, this is like a space Fallout. Like, yeah. it looks like a you space Fallout. You literally said that. I you... did. I was like, this is cool. Like, this makes up for the lack of Fallout that... It's good. Gives us, yeah, the everything wrong. It Go looks, it looks like a space Fallout. It does. It looks like a lot of fun. It's like Fallout meets, not Mass Effect, but Borderlands. And I'm kind of super into it. I'm excited for it too. Same. We have a list of games that we want to get. Oh God. Oh yeah. my God. What was it? Pathless. Was that one? I don't know. We so, yes, Pathless. It, um, the creators of Journey and Abzu. Yeah, Pathless. Ooh, that looks super good. That one looks awesome. Journey is a more artsy game, like art school kind of game, where there's no real dialogue. If you haven't played it, it's been out for a while. It's, definitely do. It's a really pretty game. It would be one of those games that you kind of, if if you don't really play games yourself but enjoy like watching people play games, um. Journey would be a good one, like, if you had somebody that wasn't really talking through it. I yeah. Feel. It's, if you've just got, like, some, like, you have the game volume up, and you're just listening to the game, and an occasional comment here or there from... Whomever's playing it. You know, it. someone playing it. It's it's a very beautiful game. The only thing that stinks is, while it has co-op, it's random. Which is kind of the feature it has. I it's, lucked out with my random. You did. Mine sucked. Mine literally played through with me and left at the end, so I didn't get the achievement, like, little bitch. I got the achievement. Suck my ass. I hate that the fuck boy. boy. He's back. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Evie. Uh, not Rick is up for it. Oh, not Rick wants to battle. So, of course, that fuck boy has to, like, oh, wait, just give us five potions? Yeah. He's oh. our bro. He's a fuckboy, but like the good kind. <laughs> He's the main fuckboy. 
the best fuckboy. He's the fuckboy. He's the bay of fuckboys. Fuck bay. Fuck bay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That'll be the sequel. <laughs> From the new Pokemon game that actually comes out for this. It's gonna be that it's, fuck bay. But it's gonna be... He, he's gonna be it, an actual tool. He's gonna be tool. a dick. He's, he's gonna, gonna be, be a, a legit tool. We missed the chance. We missed the opportunity. Damn it. But, well, we're here, finally, at the first gym. Going to fuck Brock up. <laughs> but, in the meantime, you guys have fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all of that stuff. At once. In one go. If it's not at once, it doesn't work. But. Until next week for Evie and Thursday for Spyro. Woo! We'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. time.